Option Power is a great tool to stimulate discussions and active participation in meeting rooms and classrooms. One way to do that is to ask cross-tabulation questions and show how different subgroups that are in the room are thinking differently or how they're thinking alike. And it often fosters very interesting discussions and active participation. Let's give you a quick example of that. We'll create a PowerPoint polling presentation and we'll go out and insert a polling slide that will ask which subgroup members of the audience belong to. In this case we'll say what is your role. And let's assume for purposes of example this is a medical meeting. So we've got physicians in the room, we've got physicians assistants, and perhaps we have nurses in the room. So we'll ask this question to find out which subgroup they belong to. Now when I right click in the PowerPoint edit mode it will change the option power slide properties and we'll make this a cross tab slide. Basically we're telling the system that this is a demographic variable that identifies one characteristic of each participant in the room in terms of which subgroup they belong to. We'll call this role. And the alias is just a labeling tool that allows us when we're spinning the data and showing how different subgroups are thinking, this allows us to identify which variable, which demographic variable we're looking at. So now I'll save my slide and we'll go out and we'll create one more slide. In this case, let's assume that during our presentation we're doing a case study. And we can say what is the best dosage for this patient. Let's assume that we presented some information about a particular patient and we'll give the group three choices 30 milligrams, 50 milligrams, and 70 milligrams. Now we'll ask them what they think in terms of what's the best dosage for this particular patient. We'll save our presentation and go into the polling mode in PowerPoint. Here's our title slide. Now we'll ask the audience, in this case we've got an audience you can see down here of 40 people, we'll simulate some data and we'll ask them what their role is and we'll get some variation in the data set. Get results from 40 people. You can see we have 35% of the people are nurses, 35% physicians assistants, and we have 30% that are physicians. Now let's ask the question to get some discussion going about what they think the best dosage would be for this patient with some variation in the data set. And when we're done we'll show the results. And then what we can do is there's an interesting command in Option Power. It's called the Control G command and there's a related command called the R command. The Control G command identifies various subgroups and then the R command rotates among those subgroups so we can see how different groups are thinking. In this case we've now put the subgroup label on screen that shows this is everyone in the room, everyone in all the different roles, all the different subgroups. Now when we hit the R key we can see that the physicians were equally split. They thought 30 milligrams and 50 milligrams were the best dosage. The physician's assistants, however, saw things differently. They thought 70 milligrams would be the best dosage. And the nurses were split between 30 milligrams and 70 milligrams. So this would obviously foster some very significant subgroup discussion in the room. This gives you an example of how Option Power is a great tool for active participation and discussions during meetings and classroom activities.